Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Todd Gotches from Colorado Local. And today I have Amber from Daddy's Homemade joining us. Uh, they're down in Evergreen, and uh, they've got some homemade syrups, pancakes, and some different products. So, Amber, I appreciate you taking the time to join us today. And uh, maybe you could just get started. Tell us a little bit about your business, how you kind of got into, how you got started, and, and, you know, some of your products. Absolutely. Thanks for having us today, Todd. I really appreciate it. We uh, are based in Evergreen. We're a local uh, Colorado small business startup. We actually started, uh, turned it into a business in February of last year, right before COVID. My husband started making homemade syrup about three years prior to that. We've got a family of three kids, and we started kind of taking a closer look at uh, some of the ingredients. They were going through a lot of pancake syrup, so we found uh, there was a lot of high fructose corn syrup in uh, the typical syrup that we buy from uh, Walmart and, and uh, in bulk. Right. And we uh, some health issues caused us to kind of step back and see what uh, else we could do. So my husband decided that he could make some homemade stuff that would be a little bit better. There's no high fructose corn syrup, no preservatives, no artificial ingredients. And uh, then he decided to experiment with some flavors so we have uh we we're, we're deciding to do some seasonal flavors now um we have i think 10 10 flavors in four different sizes typically and then we also add some extra flavors in there as well uh we're very big on on community and helping uh, the environment as well so we have all of our um products come in glass jars to help the environment and uh, we encourage community related uh stuff we at some of our events we um, have encouraged food donations for local food banks and mountain backpacks and some different programs to try to kind of work together to help everybody out. Oh, that's awesome. Well, how do people get, uh, do you have a store or how, do, how are people getting your products right now? That's a great question. We have a website, uh, daddy's, www.daddyshomemadesyrup.com. Uh, we actually keep that updated as well as our Facebook and Instagram uh, with any events that we're at. We did some farmer's markets last year and some events and uh, we also keep our all of that updated with any new locations we have. We are operating currently under the Cottage Foods Laws of Colorado. Okay. So what that means is we are pretty much um, selling direct to consumers with the exception of some of the gift stores and different locations that we're allowing, uh, basically renting shelves from them and making sure that consumers know that we're not, uh, that it's produced in a home kitchen and um, we can ship anywhere within Colorado. So on our website is the best place and our social media is to keep an eye on what events we might be at in person, uh, of course, order online or um, also keep an eye on what locations we might have some products at as well. Sure. And so you say you can, uh, you can deliver, is it only in Colorado now that you can ship to? Correct. Now we have had a lot of people that, uh, especially around the holidays, that like to buy some of our products and ship it out themselves to friends and family. Um, and that kind of thing. And that's worked really great for some unique Colorado made gifts for some people that they know in other locations besides Colorado. Sure. That, and that makes a lot of sense. So they order it from you and then they can do whatever they want. What's the turnaround time? If you're going to go order, let's say you went order today, uh, would you get it in about a week or so? Uh, yeah, usually an average of a week by the time we make it uh, fresh batches. And then uh, a lot of, sometimes it's uh, sooner than that. Um, we actually also have been starting to get some larger orders as well for, uh, you know, gift ideas for clients, customers, staff, different things like that. So of course the larger uh, orders do take a little bit longer sometimes. And if it's somewhere uh, kind of within the vicinity of Evergreen area, we do uh, free deliveries as well. Oh, that's great. Or could somebody come and pick it up from you if they wanted to do that? Yeah, we can arrange that as well or meet people or, uh, you know, small business, we kind of go with the flow and, and do whatever we can do to help people out and make sure that they can get our products easily. Yeah, awesome. That's really the benefit of being a local business and, and, and having that personal touch. So I think that's great. And we're going to put all this information with this video. So we'll put your website and uh, do you have a phone number you want people to be able to call you at as well? Yeah, absolutely. We'll put that on there and uh, email might be the best bet. We, um, I do on top of the syrup, I do work full time. And well, like I said, we got three kids and trying to juggle the syrup and you know, it's a little crazy, but uh, we do email uh, tends to be my fastest response time to people. Uh, we do want to make sure that we provide that best uh, customer service that we can for everybody and make sure they get their questions answered or anything that they might need right away. That's awesome. I think it sounds like you got a pretty good thing going down there. 
And uh, like I said, we're going to put all the contact information down there. So hopefully we can get some people buying some syrup and, uh, and be a little bit healthy about it, right? Absolutely. That sounds great. And I forgot to mention too, Todd, we actually started on our breakfast foods. Uh, we found that since it doesn't have any of that uh, artificial stuff, junk in it, we have been actually, it's a little bit thinner consistency than your typical pancake syrup. So we've actually been putting it in our coffees, baked goods, desserts. You can use it. The, the possibilities are endless for, for the syrups and the unique flavors that we've been creating. It, it, we've been trying it on just about everything. Wow, actually, that sounds really good. I'm going to have to get online and order some, and, and hopefully we'll be able to get some people down there. But Amber, I really appreciate you taking the time. Is there anything else you'd like to say before we wrap this up? Uh, you know, actually, one one more thing that I just thought of, I appreciate it. We have uh, my daughter, my oldest daughter, actually helped us create the label. So she was, uh, her drawings of family was our inspiration behind it all, and she was doing each one individually by hand when we first started and then it became of oh no do i have to do another label so we turned it into stickers and it was a huge hit so it's uh, our family and um you know our, our kids future is definitely a huge inspiration for everything too that's awesome well let's see if we get some support and uh, get some people to visit your site so uh, amber again i appreciate you taking the time and thank you so much and uh, you all have a wonderful day you too thank you so much todd appreciate your time